Welcome to Lock 50 Demo. How to use the JLR KVM RFA MCU Data Dump Tool to emulate existing keys from 2010 to 2023. For 2010 to 2018, KVM open the dflash and eprom files. Once opened, you will see the copy and add key options. Select copy key. Choose one of the key position to make a copy. Press OK to make a copy on our range of key emulators. All done. You can check the key info also and confirm. When you read the key now, you will see the new ID and position copied. Now we will show to copy the second key info. We will open the files again and demo how to make a copy of the second key in the file. Simple fast reliable and easy to use. Last video, we showed how to make a copy direct from a change ID key from any provider or any unlocked key. Now we are showing how to use HW01LOCK50 via the KVM RFA MCU data. All done. See how fast two keys can be generated ready to start. Now we will move on the key emulation of the latest RFA types from 2017 to 23 MCU demo. The older RFA use the 7953P transponders and the new ones use NCF-29A. Only D flash required. Select position to copy. Press OK. Done. Let's, Let's read, read and, and check, check the, the key. key. You, will you will see, see the, the transponder, transponder type, type also changed. changed. Now it's NCF 29A. Key is ready for emergency start or for non PEPS cars, can use for PKE RKE. Non-PEPS cars required to edit out UWB from CCF for RKE PKE but ready to emergency start. Note new 2020 models and up require TCU telematics control unit to be put into service mode before can add keys. Via in-control app on mobile phone. For USA, this is important as when you have two working keys, you can bypass TCU service mode and add keys via OEM OBD directly with Pathfinder. When Pathfinder asks to put two working keys on gear shift, then use two of our lock 50 keys, and then be able to bypass TCU service and proceed to add OEM keys. Thanks for watching the lock 50 HW01 MCU dump tool demo. Have a great day. More demos coming soon.